What's up everybody? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Good morning if you're watching us in the morning, but for us it is 1.30 in the afternoon. So we're starting a little bit late with the video today. We had a lot of editing to get done this morning. We had to edit yesterday's vlog, which ended up being pretty long because Alex and Catherine were talking a lot in the car. And then Alex had a main channel video that she had to edit to get up. It's all done. I'm done with the gym. We're pretty much done everything for the day. We're just going to Alex's parents' house later this evening to celebrate a early Christmas celebration because a lot of people on her mom's side of the family are going to Florida over the holidays. So we're gonna do this big party before they all leave. So we get to enjoy Christmas with them. We're so excited because, well at least I'm excited because there's gonna be so much good food. Oh my God, I'm not gonna spoil it yet. You're gonna see it when we get there. I'm so excited, you know how much I love food. We have been getting a lot of questions over the last few days though about my laptop. Is it surviving? Does it work again? And uh, let's go into the office and talk about that. Okay, so here he is. I don't know why I say he, but you can see the dent from the water bottle that I um, dropped on it. It dented it right there. It was a metal water bottle. So unfortunately it, it left a little bit of a dent. I don't think that affected it too, too much, but this is kind of where we're at right now. So I did change the battery about a week before I spilt the water on it and it was doing great. I, I calibrated the battery. It had a really long lifespan, but I thought maybe that new battery got damaged when I spilled the water. So I put in an old battery. What's been happening is that sometimes it won't charge and sometimes it will. So the light's on right now. Sometimes when I plug it in, okay, light went on, but sometimes the light won't go on. Um, so I don't really know what the issue is. It hasn't been turning on. Yeah, nothing. It turned on a couple of times, tried holding it, um, tried doing the control option shift thingy that you're supposed to do when a computer's not turning on. So I really don't know what the issue is. I really want to take it in for an Apple Care appointment to get it checked. Um, I'm pretty sure it's still covered. I think it wouldn't cost anything. Uh, just haven't had the time. We've been so busy. Um, and the closest Apple store is kind of far away. So I'd have to kind of make, uh, not, not a day out of it, but like, I don't know, it kind of would interrupt stuff we're doing during the day. So I'm probably going to try to go next week. For now, it's okay because we have Alex's computer. So we're able to both edit on that one. But yeah, obviously, ideally, we'd get it fixed or we'd get Alex a new, better one and then kind of pass hers along to me. I looked at the like the flash drive, the hard drive. It doesn't seem damaged, so I should be able to like still recover everything on my computer, but um, that's the update for now. There's not much I can do. What you doing, Boo Bear? <laughs> why are you just standing, silly boy? I know why. Why? He wants to go outside. Oh, he's waiting. I know he's looking at me waiting, hoping that I'll take him outside. Dan was so nice and gave me a foot massage with this cream, so I put these socks on to keep it nice and comfy and warm. Hi, Bubba. Oh, yes. Big stretch. Good job. It's been so dark in our house all day because of the weather today. It's just raining nonstop. All the snow's gone. Um, I washed my hair and now it's just in a braid and I'm gonna do my makeup soon. We're heading for dinner. Our dinner's at six, but we're gonna leave to go to my parents at five just because we have some things we wanna do. Ooh, I can zoom that out. Beforehand, um, and we don't wanna like do it when like there's people there and stuff. And um, we kinda live far from my parents right now. So that's why we're gonna leave extra early. I got a lot of questions about this sweater. Um, if you haven't been watching our vlogs, like since before Vlogmas, you won't know, but Dan actually bought me this sweater off of an ad he saw on like Instagram or Facebook. So I don't actually know where it's from. He surprised me with it, it's super cute. My two favorite Disney characters wearing each other's outfits. But yeah, I mean, maybe if you Google it, I'm not too sure, but yeah, he doesn't even remember where he got it. Ever since I watched Titanic, like a few, when was it, like last week or something? I don't remember which vlog it was. I watched it with my with my dad and my grandma. And I don't know, I've been on this like weird kick of watching Leonardo DiCaprio movies. There's a lot I haven't seen. So we randomly decided to watch Inception, which I had seen bits and pieces of, but I never actually watched the full thing. So we did that the other day. And then last night we watched part of it, but I fell asleep, Shutter Island. And then we finished that just now. It was so good. I really liked that movie. I had seen it one time before, but I completely forgot everything about the movie except for the end. So like I knew how it ended. So it was pretty cool to watch the whole movie knowing that, but also like feeling like it was the first time. So that was interesting. Also the Christmas lights are on. So if I'm like, look very yellow, <laughs> that's why. And right now I'm about to watch Revolutionary Road because you guys, I've never seen this one. I heard it's very sad. We don't have like a crazy amount of time to watch 
action movie. Right now it's 3.30, so I have an hour and a half, and the movie is oh, two hours long. But it's Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio, and if you guys know, Titanic. It's just like, it's them grown up. I'm just so excited to see what it's like. So that's what we're gonna watch right now. Dan's actually wa uh, walking boo, but he doesn't really care to see it, so I'm just gonna watch it by myself. And do my makeup as I'm watching it. I just like to kind of like relax, sit on the couch, do my makeup really slowly as I'm watching things. It's just kind of what I like. I'm doing the exact same thing I did in the other vlog. So when I did the time lapse, the exact same thing, as well as Vlogmas Day 3 when I actually talked about the products and stuff. I will be back later. All right, guys, so I'm taking Boo for a little walk just to get him some extra exercise because we're going to be away for a little bit because of the um, because of the Christmas party tonight. So I'm on the smaller camera just so it fits in my pocket. The other one doesn't quite fit in my pocket. But I like to do a mix with Boo of walking off leash and then also walking on leash. I mean, you guys saw him running with me. So that's kind of like a level above walking on leash. But I think it's good for him to kind of develop both sets of like skills I guess or behavior because when he's walking on leash with me that's kind of like like my walk time you know it's like work time for him so he's got to follow along whereas when we do like off leash walking that's kind of his time he still has to stay close but he has a bit more freedom you know he can go around and smell he can zigzag he can run ahead he can run behind but when we're walking on leash it's like when we're running you know it's it's very much for him he's got to stay focused he's got to kind of stay in line so i'll kind of show you guys what i do but it's like when i run i only give him a few feet of slack and you really just try to keep him from going too far ahead of you and if he gets too far just give him a little tug that's it or you can just be like hey boo boo and then he slows down the main thing i always remember though about walking with a dog on a leash is the leash should never be yeah see he's stopping because i'm stopping but it should never be at full tension like that it should always have some slack so if they start to get too far ahead just a little just to let them know sorry boo i'm not telling you to go okay let's keep going but you see here like he'll walk beside and he'll keep the leash kind of slack and if he gets too far ahead i mean he already knows not to so he's turning around before i do it but just a little tug just to let him know because like i said right now we're walking you know, we're not quite exploring, we're walking. When we go off leash, then he gets that full freedom to explore as much as he wants. Okay guys, makeup is done. It's 3.40 and it's dark. Love that for us. <laughs> um, my hair's still in a braid, obviously. It's very cloudy out today. Dan and Boo just got back from their walk. Hi Boo, did you have fun? He did. Did you have fun? You know that Bernese mountain dog that always walked by? Yeah. With the guy with the big beard? We passed them on the street. I saw him. So cute. Did you see us talking? No, I just saw uh, you. Oh, we pass. were like out there out the window. Oh. You did so good. <laughs> so yeah, as you guys saw, like we were walking on leash, but then there's like an area where there's no houses or anything. So I took him off leash for a bit and there's these huge mountains of like dirt and sand. And so we climbed them, <laughs> but we had to stop because I was slipping, like, because it's kind of wet. My boots were sliding, but oh no! look how dirty I got my pants. <laughs> okay, so I am 20 minutes into Revolutionary Road and I'm sad, like Rose and Jack are fighting. I don't like that. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. Okay, so I did a little shopping off of ASOS because a lot of you guys recommended ASOS maternity. You said that it's like your favorite thing. The only thing with ASOS, which is so annoying, is that I pay customs every single time and it's so expensive. Like literally my customs today was a hundred dollars i wanted to throw up i just i don't know if i have to return anything then it's kind of a hassle returning it from canada so like i don't shop on asos that often but i did want to test it out because a lot of you guys said like you absolutely loved it so the first thing i got were a pair of earrings which is not maternity but i needed a gold pair of hoops that were like inexpensive because i had another pair that broke recently and so these just look like this basic hoops i'll probably wear these tonight hi Let's see how they feel. This is not for you. <laughs> he always wants to steal the show. Oh, they're really light. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, my other ones were so heavy, it like hurt. Oh, they're cute. Dan, you like the hoops? Oh, they're really nice. I like them. Okay, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna keep my hair in a little bit longer. It's still a bit too wet to take out yet. I do this braid, I say this every time, but I do this braid so that my hair has a bit of wave to it because I'm not gonna be styling my hair today. I'm just gonna keep it natural. Okay, what is this? Oh. 
I got two turtlenecks because I was wearing my Fabletics turtleneck for the longest time because it was really stretchy, but it's at the point now where I wear it. I just tried it on and like the bottom of my belly sticks out. So it kind of looks like a belly top, which is really funny because it's not maternity. So I needed a maternity <laughs> turtleneck because I live in them. Oh, this is not even a turtleneck. This is the turtleneck. Okay. So this one is just, it looks kind of like short. Oh God, but it is really stretchy. I really like stripes and I wanted a striped turtleneck. It looked super cute on the pregnant girl, girl, pregnant lady, pregnant woman, I don't know, on the website. Then this was like an oversized black sweater, kind of a t-shirt material. Hmm, I don't know if I like the feeling of this. I liked that um, because a lot of my other sweaters have bands at the bottom. So it's kind of, since they're not maternity sweaters, they like fit weird now that my belly is like really popped. So I liked the fact that on the website, this one here had a slit on the sides. So like, oh, this front is actually a lot longer than the back. That's a good sign with maternity clothes. Not trying any of these on right now, but I'm sure you will see me wearing them in future vlogs because I don't really have very many maternity options. I've been wearing, as you can tell, super oversized sweaters every single day. And like tonight we're going for Christmas dinner and I had no dresses to wear. I have that one dress that I got for, for my maternity, uh, maternity, my baby shower but I wanna wear that at the baby shower, so I don't wanna wear that for Christmas. And I thought I'd be able to fit into this other dress that I had, cause it's a wrap dress, but because my breasts got so big, it just looks so inappropriate. Like, whew, cannot wear that to a family event. Didn't used to look like that on me. <laughs> these are the leggings that a lot of you DM'd me about. You guys sent me links. You said, these saved you in pregnancy. Basic black leggings. I have the ones from Pink Blush and the ones from H&M that I really like, but a lot of you recommended these ones. You said they were super comfy. Um, they didn't like stretch out throughout the day, which was nice and um, as you could tell, the front part is like way bigger than the back. So I'm excited. They're actually really soft. Okay, this better be the freaking turtleneck. I got a black turtleneck. Yes, it is. Yay. Maybe I'll just wear like a black turtleneck for a Christmas dinner with my gold jewelry and just black leggings because the black jeans that I got from Pink Blush, they fit okay. They're just like not the nicest on me. I also do have a skirt, which I think could be really nice. It's a really like oversized maxi skirt. So if I like put it on properly with, I don't know, maybe it could like look okay. I wanted to kind of dress up tonight because I thought it would be, I mean, it's Christmas. It's a nice occasion. We're doing it early because like Dan said in yesterday's vlog, my, you said today too? Well, when I say my mom's side of the family or my dad's side of the family, it's because my mom has like, she's Hungarian and my dad's Italian and they both have like their, their siblings and their sibling, like my cousins and their kids and stuff. And so every year we do something with both sides and it just happens that a lot of people on my mom's side of the family travel to Florida for Christmas. So we always do an early Christmas. And then I got moon boots. I have heard great things about these. I don't know if I'm gonna like them. You guys know where I live. There's a lot of snow and because now I can't travel anymore, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the snow going up to my cottage and stuff. And up in my cottage, there is so much snow. So I wanna be able to wear boots that <laughs> clearly I can walk in the snow in that are tall because my other boots that I have that are great for winter are short. So if I'm stepping in like really high snow, then the snow just gets in the boot, which is annoying. So these I could actually like trot around. They look like literally, I was gonna say, they look like what astronauts wear, but they're called moon boots, like literally for that reason. They're super grippy at the bottom. Um, I won't slip on the ice. And a lot of you guys recommended these. I don't know how they're gonna be when I'm pregnant. Oh my God, they're literally so comfy on the inside. <gasps> I'm excited for this. I actually think this would be so cute with like black leggings and the black turtleneck. That would be such a vibe. I'm happy with this purchase. I will let you guys know if I actually like these. I think I'm good. Okay guys, so I tried on the turtleneck, which fits so well. Were you changing in the background? I was already like sure talking okay. about it. Fits so well. These are the leggings and the boots. So cute. So I think I'm actually just gonna wear this tonight because nothing else fits. <laughs> I'm wearing this necklace which is like the broken heart necklace that I have with Catherine and Tess. So cute. Just... <laughs> Comfy, these were so easy to slip on and they're so warm. There's so much room in them too. <laughs> they're really light. Oh, I love this. I really like this top a lot. It's really comfy. And Dan loves stripes. Right, Dan? I do. Yay. You look handsome. Thank you. This is the, um, the jacket from Just a Pat's Wedding. Very, very handsome. Thank you. Those are the brown shoes you're gonna wear? Yes, they are. It's like casual fancy. Yeah, it's like a mix. 
Okay, so now I'm all ready to go outside. I'm wearing this scarf, which I got from Urban Outfitters. This really comfy, looks like a robe, like a bathrobe, but it's actually a jacket. Oh, what are these things in there? I got this from Revolve in, when did I get this? September, October time? All ready to go, comfy cozy. We are being busy bees. Kyla, so nice, she made crescent cookies. Those are my favorite. And then this is called pogacha, which my grandma made. This, this is, very is like walnut. This, this is one. called bagley. And you're gonna put powdered sugar? Yeah. And this is like a walnut one, and this is poppy seed. Yum. I wanna take a piece of a cookie. Mm-hmm. Don't put it back. I'm not. <laughs> Do you ever make something yourself? It doesn't taste as good. It doesn't taste the same. It doesn't taste as good. Yeah, because someone didn't make it for you. Is this the recipe? Yeah. Mama was like standing over me telling me what to do. <laughs> it's because you made it. Mm -hmm. Then I'm stirring the potatoes while it's overexposed. Cabbage rolls. Potatoes. Got that. Looking good. Yum. What's dad doing? <gasps> oh, hell yeah. That's his famous sauce, you guys. He will not Didn't share the recipe. Did you make that sauce for someone one time? Cat Bell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because <laughs> she's obsessed with it. And then on... Mm. Lasagna. We have some smoked salmon, some lemon, some bread. That's a lot of bread. Yeah, why is there so much bread? Because there's a lot of people, I guess. Ooh, I'm cold. That's cute. Where is this from? Taste my uh, sauce. Fashion Nova. Mm. I'll, ta I'll taste, taste it. I'll taste it um, in a sec, Dad. I want to. Oh, cut it some stir. Okay. I'll go taste it. Hopefully, I don't spill on myself. Just a little bit. Here. Here. Oh, I took a piece of bread. Yeah, take the bread. Bring the bread. I have a. Oh. Okay, guys. Looks like this. Is it hot? Nope. Mmm. Well, it's like instant. Oh, hell yeah. It's good? Oh my god. Whoa, that's so good, Dad. Good, oh, eh? I want people to come already so we can eat. <laughs> I can't believe I'm Same. Busy. Good for you, Kai. Very proud. Proud to see. <laughs> All right, so where is the, the gloves? Here we go. The lasagna's in the oven? Yeah. I thought this was the lasagna. There's two. The lasagna. What are the what's the difference? There's no difference. Well this one here has the the mascarpone and the uh the ricotta in it. This one doesn't have any mascarpone or ricotta. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Mm. Smells is bomb. Really done. It's been sitting like... Oh my god, that looks so good, Dad. I oh, want the one you. with the... Uh, Cheers, everyone. Uh, Cheers. Hold on. Cheers, Alex. Maybe I want some wine. Cheers. Please, let me cheer. Oh, you look so good, Mom. Cheers. Be careful here, guys. Cheers. I'm going to come through with water, so... Beautiful. You know what you guys need? More ice trays. <laughs> oh, I have a whole bunch. Oh, really? I actually thought right now when I went to the dap, I was like, I should, I should have bought a bag of ice. So I make the lasagna. This one with a tomato sauce and three different kind of cheese, four different kind of cheese. Very good tomato sauce. Is this the basil. one with um, ricotta? No, this is the one without ricotta or mascarpone. Mascarpone. But this one has mascarpone and ricotta. That's why. Mm. God, I want the one with ricotta. Yeah, so basically I was told, I don't know if this is true, but if the ricotta is cooked, then it's basically like pasteurized, so. Exactly. Because that's what non-pasteurized means, like when they pasteurize something, it's yeah. like they're boiling just in it. case, yeah. here is what's inside. Oh, wow. Mascarpone well, and the ricotta. Sometimes even they are pasteurized in the grocery store. Notice how I put them in yeah, the fridge. Yeah, look, it says pasteurized. I put them in the fridge. Pasteurized whey, pasteurized milk. So this one is pasteurized. Why do you put them like this? So that it stays wet. Ah, smart. Mom! Oh my god. <laughs> Why? What did she what? say? She said that's what she said. Oh. This <laughs> wet. What's going on in here? No lie. That's Kyla's drink, Dad. Is that hmm? not Kyla's drink? Yeah, yeah. ah! <laughs> oh. What? Oh, that's sweet. What is it? He drank, no me piace. he drank the ginger ale. There's no alcohol. Lola is always going to be in the way. <laughs> the 
The best is Kyla, he didn't realize until I said that's Kyla's drink. He had already drank from it. He <laughs> <laughs> drank from Gorp's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Should I put- Oh! Get way out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna be drinking from everyone's drinks. You drank, oh. you drank from Dad's before. I did? Yeah, it's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's fine. We have. Oh, Kyla's opening her presents. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Oh. I opened it and I was looking for something really good, like a good sunscreen. Because New Zealand is where the Onzo layer or whatever is like. It's, 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 it's really bad. Yeah. And this is My doctor was telling me about it. Yeah. Thank you. We should. We should. Uh, it's your birthday and you're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's the next morning. I just woke up. <laughs> um, realized we didn't end the vlog last night, so I just wanted to say that thank you so much for like all of the comments that you guys leave, and you guys are just so sweet all the time. Also, I saw a question that I wanted to answer in today's vlog. If you guys don't know, we like to answer questions from you guys. And one of them said, what traits would we like our baby to have from Dan and I? And I think, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I think I would like, here, come boo, come up, come snuggle. Staring at me like, what the heck, mom? Come snuggle. <laughs> come on. Look at his face. Come boo, come on up. Lie down. Oh, good boy. Good boy. So I hope he gets, like, honestly, I'll be happy with whatever, like, whatever personality. I know he's gonna have his own personality, but I like my creativity and my, like, like big heart, I guess. I, like, love helping people, and I just feel like I'm a pretty generous person. And for Dan, I hope he gets his brain, because <laughs> Dan is so smart. And I don't just mean in school, like, he's very smart in school, but he's also very, like, street smart and just, like, common sense smart, and he just, like, knows a lot about everything and can like remember details about everything and yeah i hope he gets like a mix between the two of us i think it would be really cool but at the same time wouldn't be upset if he had like his own quirky personality which i'm sure he will have i just can't wait to meet him but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and we'll see you guys tomorrow with boo bear <laughs>